Hello everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. I'm your Excel Guru and today I've brought you the next installment in my VBA series which is how to change or enter a value on a, in a specific cell in Excel using VBA. Here is the code for that. The code would be sub, SUB sub since it is a sub procedure and change values the name I've given and here is the actual code worksheets here is what we are do, uh, telling Excel to do is okay open worksheets go to sheet 1 in sheet 1 go to range which is B12 see in this cell this cell would be B12 and then enter the value 786 over here 786 is considered to be a very auspicious number uh, by a very very large community a very very religious community so then we enter end sub. Now we learn how to enter this code in VBA. To enter a code in VBA in Excel, first of all we have to enable VBA Visual Basic Editor to develop a uh, system in Excel. To do that we have to click on the Office button, then we have to click on Excel Options. Once we go to Excel Options, uh, then we need to click on Show Developer tab in the ribbon. You need sure that you have checked it. Now once you have checked it, click OK. Now once you clicked OK, you will see this developer tab over here. Click it and you will see Visual Basic. So you click over here and you will see that this module, a whole new different module opens. Well, I have already entered it uh, here in this module. Let me delete it for you. Close it, close it. So this, is, this was one way of opening it. And there is a short code also, a keyboard shortcut, Alt F11. Now this module VBA module opens and now we need to click on insert and we are inserting a module. Now once we insert a module, now we can type what we want over here, which is the code. The code is SUB. Now comes the name change. C H A G E V A L U V value. Enter you see these brackets have automatically come. So which is good thing. Now this is the actual code. We are asking Excel to go into the worksheets. Worksheets, which one? Which object? Sheet 1. Go to Sheet 1. Close the bracket. In Sheet 1, go to Range, which is B12. And in B12, what does it need to do? It needs to enter this value, which value would be? Type error. I've already covered it. See, I'm Six Sigma trained. I'm before a uh, problem could occur. I already corrected it. So that's too good, too good. <laughs> Just joking. I'm not Six Sigma trained. I'm trying to. I'm studying hard to get Six Sigma trained. Very soon I would be. Okay. And now end sub you see automatically appeared over here. So thanks to Bill Gates for this. <laughs> Now we need to see whether this is working or not. So to do that, just click anywhere on this code and press the small green button, run sub, and you'll see 786 come on, coming over here. Let me see how what happens if there is already a number over here. So now we need to run this VBA code. How do we do that? Well, you go to developer, you click on mac macros, sorry. You click on macros and here comes the macro which is available and click run. See it has changed to 786. Again, again, once again there is one more way of running macro which is shortcut Alt F8. Press Alt F8, this dialog box opens, click run 786. There is one more way of doing this. We are here in the business of education, no business, I am here in the field of education. I try to give as many options as possible. I try to go as in-depth as possible. So here is another way of doing this, of running this macro. I find it very interactive. Let's insert any shape, any clip art. Uh, shapes is easier. Uh, just say, let's not this shape. Okay, preform. Over here. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Five minutes. Okay. 
okay, enough, enough, I'm done, 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 done. <laughs> How to get this free from home? Hello? <laughs> Okay, so this is how we get it off. <laughs> okay, now we right click it and you see this assign macro. <laughs> so click on assign macro and just click any uh, macro over here available. So this is the one available in the sheet. So click OK. So say I have 654 over here. I click on this form and see it has changed to 786. So here is another way how to and uh, how to assign a macro or a VBA code to a shape. So I hope you like this video. And uh, this training file that you're looking at uh, in this video is available for free with download on my website myelesson.org. Just go to that website and download it for free. And until the next video, this is your Excel Guru signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy Excel learning.